So in this bowl here, I have one can of sweetened condensed milk, I think it was 14 ounces, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'm just whisking that together. And in here, I took two cups of heavy cream and whipped it till it had soft peaks. I added about a quarter to a third of the whipped cream, and I'm just stirring it in just to help loosen up the sweetened condensed milk mixture. So if you look now, the mixture is a lot thinner, and it'll be easy to fold in that remaining whipped cream. So in goes the remaining whipped cream, and now I'm just going to gently fold this in. You want to be careful not to stir and fold the mixture gently over itself so that you can keep it light and airy. That was pretty quick. It just took about maybe a minute to fold it in, but you can see how much it grew in volume. So in went my leftover birthday cake. It was a mixture of golden vanilla cake and buttercream frosting, about 300 grams in total. Whole jar of rainbow sprinkles. I know, it might be too many sprinkles, but really when it comes to birthday cake, is there any such thing as too many sprinkles? And now I'm gonna go ahead and fold that in too. This is one of my favorite brands of gelato. So when I buy it, I always save the containers because they're great for storage, especially when you're making your own ice cream. Okay, let's see how well I can do this with one hand. I'm going to go ahead and scoop it into there. And then once it's filled, I'm just going to tap it on the counter lightly so that it can all settle. I went ahead and covered this and I'm going to put this in the freezer. But you can see I still have some more ice cream left. I'm going to show you another way you can store this. So here I have a loaf pan that I lined with wax paper. You could use parchment paper too. And I'm just going to go ahead and scoop the ice cream into And then that overhang I'm going to use to fold over before I put this in the freezer. And now this is gonna go in the freezer for at least six hours or overnight. The great thing about no-churn ice cream is that even once it freezes, it still stays very soft and scoopable. So unlike other ice creams where you might have to let them sit out for a few minutes before you serve it, you can serve this right away. I wanted to show you guys what the ice cream looked like. This is just uh, a little less than six hours that it was in the freezer. Okay, now let's see if I can do this with two hands to show you just how easy it scoops out. See? 